Absolutely. These things are gigantic uh, compared to their normal size, which would be about two inches. So now we're checking out these monarch butterflies. If you listen very closely, Kyle, you can actually hear them flapping their wings in the wind, right? That's a big, loud flutter that you're hearing, yes. You might not hear that that closely, but that's that's what it's mimicking, absolutely. This is one of the 18 uh, larger-than-life bug exhibits here. Uh, so talk to me about the purpose of this. This is this one's probably one of the biggest that I've seen so far. This is probably one of the biggest, yes. Yeah, so we, we're right next to the butterfly house where we have the real monarchs inside. And then nice. we've got these larger-than-life monarchs to learn about outside. And then we've got this ladybug over here. And we've got 18 of these around campus, like you said, Incredibugs. It's one of our seasonal exhibits that we bring in every year. We like to bring in something different every year so that you can learn about about all kinds of things about your planet, including the smallest creatures like these insects. And then we're blowing them up so we can see them very, it's much better, right? <laughs> Let's walk over here to this ladybug and check it out. Um, in terms of these, we see the butterfly wings flapping. Um, this one makes noises that are yes. interesting. What me, other kind of bugs can we see? Well, let me walk over here and get oh, it to you're make, try to make it for move? you. There you go, it's motion there detected. We go. So there's all kinds of bugs. We've got a katydid, we've got a giant spider that we're gonna see here next. We've got uh, lots of beetles on campus. We've got a fun little anthill down by Glacier Run. Um, we've got uh, the walking stick we saw this morning. And it's just, it's just you know, they're all over the place. They're larger than life. There's fun stuff to learn about, like this ladybug. Did you know that they can come up with 20 spots, up to 20 spots on their bodies? Wow. So that's the type of stuff you're going to learn here. And it's a type of beetle, not tip, not actually a bug. Exactly, exactly. And obviously they're not that large. Right, right. <laughs> right, exactly. And then we have time to come and see this. We do. Exhibit. September 18th. It runs through September 18th. It is free with zoo admission, so if you're a okay. member or you're just coming to the zoo for the day. It is free to walk around, bring your cameras, because it's going to be fun to take photos of. And, and again, it's just all about learning about the smallest creatures on our planet along with the largest creatures on our planet. So all the way to the, our big polar bear, you know. And the animals in the zoo are starting to wake up. I'm hearing these these sounds. I'm seeing the cranes start to flap their wings. And guys, there's some fun facts that I looked up. Um, with the ladybug, Kyle mentioned a few of them, so the only one I have left for you is that sometimes they eat their eggs, which is pretty grim this morning, sorry. And then the butterflies, <laughs> they actually taste with their legs, which is yeah. interesting too. That is interesting. So many fun facts for the kids right. to learn, and adults as well.